Once you have logged in, you will be presented with your home screen, which is a bit like a personal dashboard. You can see any messages that you need to review in this section here, and you can navigate to different messages either by clicking on the message titles in this panel, or by clicking the previous and next links here. If your system has been set up to enable you to see your absence details, you will be presented with this pie chart that summarises the number of days for each type of absence you've taken off so far in this company absence year. The panel on the right hand side shows a bit more information about your holiday entitlement, any holiday that has been brought forward from a previous year and what your total holiday allowance is for this year. You're also shown how many days you've booked off so far this absence year and what your remaining holiday balance is. If I continue to scroll down, you can see a list of any notifications you should be aware of here. If you're a line manager, any pending requests made by your direct reports that you need to either approve or decline will be listed in the pending requests row. If you click on the row, you'll get a window pop up that lists all pending requests that you need to look at. If I click on the listing in the table, it gives me a bit more information about the request and I can either approve or decline the request by clicking these buttons. The pending absence and overdue absence rows relate to any absence requests that you personally have made that your line manager hasn't yet approved. If you want to quickly re-request them, click on the appropriate row to view the absence home screen. Any pending absence requests will be listed here. Simply click on the appropriate row and click re-request and the system will send an email to your line manager to either approve or decline your absence request. Any documents that I'm required to read and accept will be listed in the read and accept row. And if your company uses the recruitment module, any open vacancies that your company is promoting internally will be listed here. If I click on the row, it will take me to a new screen listing the vacancies and I could click on one of the vacancies to view more details. Finally, to log out, I just click the log off link that appears next to my profile picture at the top of the page.